Viking, eh? Have a look at this ripper boat I'm on. This is a 48 foot Viking. And this is the owner, this is Scott Lee. How are you, mate? Good, John. Good. Well, we've come out on a pretty narky morning, but it's starting to clean up into beautiful Marlin weather at the moment. And uh, we're out past the car park on, off uh, Port Stephens. We get there quickly in this boat. This is a 36 knot boat with twin C18 cats in it on a 48 foot Viking called Gunrunner. It's a ripper craft. We're looking for a Marlin. Let's hope we get into some action soon, eh? Up on the flybridge with Scott Lee. Mate, just tell us a little bit about yourself. We've been marlin fishing for the last 25 years. Fished down the south coast for the start of that and then moved up to Port Stephens and caught a bunch of marlin out here. Won a couple of tournaments and, and had a good time along the way. We had a big day offshore yesterday. It sort of cut up a little bit on the way home and uh, but the boat did it absolutely beautifully. Well, we were 20 odd, 29 knots, I think, coming home in about, what, 20 knots with up our bum? Yeah, yeah, we're after about 28, 29 knots, so yeah, fair clip coming back in there, so. Beautiful stuff. Mate, it's a lovely boat, obviously the big Viking, and I've got to say, I'm very impressed. Why did you buy the boat? What really impressed you about the boat? Oh, just the finish of the boat, John, sea handing capability. It truly is a fishing boat, isn't it? It's not a cruising boat. I mean, even the internal layout, it's beautifully presented. It's got lovely uh, polished timber uh, trim. It's got lovely upholstery, leather upholstery. But we've, we've actually got the facility down there to sleep six people, which is what you really need in a fishing boat to get the full crew on board. Yeah, for sure. The, um, the boat's self-sufficient, watermakers on board, um, refrigeration booking facilities so yeah we can we can go to sea for a while. Now this uh, boat originally had uh, a full set of um, another brand of electronics on it but you've just spent a lot of money on uh, on setting up a full set of Simrad. What do you got up here mate? We've got twin NSO screens, touch screens John. Running radar, got the new S5100 sounder module which is just a game changer. And that combined with a three kilowatt transducer now, so we're really getting some definition in the in the depth now as well, aren't we? Yeah, we're running chirp trans transducer, and yeah, three kilowatts are pumping out a lot of power. The new unit's twelve times more powerful than than the old BSM three. But there's a lot of a uh, lot of factors to it too. I mean, we've got the um, the halo radar up there, uh, there as well. This is a forty eight mile one, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a four foot radar. It does forty eight mile. We don't normally wind it out that far, but good for picking up birds. We've, we've picked up birds and, and um, caught fish underneath the birds from, from a couple of miles away. And also the whole lot's being transmitted to the big TV screen down below so everybody including the deckies down below can see what's going on all the way around them. Yeah for sure. If we mark a, a bunch of bait the, the guys can see what depth they've got to drop the jig into. And also if we mark a marlin we want to drop a live bait on the marlin they can they can quickly have to turn around and have a look and also gives them a bit of confidence that I'm feeding the right information from up here. Mate, we're chafing at the bit. We've got the crew downstairs all ready to go, and uh, we're going to go out and see if we we got uh, what did we raise? We got one fish, and we uh, and we raised another two, I think, yesterday, didn't we? Well, it's the end of the day. We've had a big day. Haven't got a lot of fish. We've got one male, which is fine by my book. And as you can see, the pea soup's just starting to hit the fan a little bit, and we're about 50 kilometres still from port. Long way to go, so we're going to keep trawling. There's no concern. That's the beauty about having a boat like this beautiful Viking. It's a true sea boat. It's built for the rough stuff. It's got plenty of room to move, but it's got great stability. You've got to say, I love it. Go Marlin. <laughs>